Right, here's the Commodore getting ready to help Richard cast off for this lovely boat. She's called Juniper. She's 58 feet long. She's got a traditional stern and she was fitted out by Ben Harp on a Tim Tyler shell back in 2006. She's a really, really lovely boat. It's actually the first boat I went to, to value. Five years ago we'll have been in this business this month and it was the first boat I went to value. So we've sold her a couple of times since and the chap who currently owns her just wanted to do a year. So he bought her last year in 2020 and is now returning to the States and selling her. She was last blacked in February 2020. She was epoxy, uh, grit blasted and epoxy two packed in October 2015. But February 2020 she had a further coat of bitumen putting on. She was last serviced 135 hours ago. Engine hours that is, not <laughs> daily light hours. There's a full survey available to have a look at. That was conducted in June 2018. The paint works in lovely condition. She was repainted by Andy and Sue Davey in December 2015. Still in very good condition. Beautiful well deck. I love it. Five feet long. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there. There's two 13 kilos. Really elegant lines, this boat. That's a storage locker you see there on the in the front of the well deck. And there's a separate diesel tank there for the stove, 60 litres. Lovely glazed front doors. And in we go. She's fitted out in ash. Nice light wood. The saloon is a good size, 13 feet 6 inches long. The floor is solid oak. It's just been re-waxed. A lot of space in this saloon. See the radiator there? That's heated by the diesel stove, which is in the corner here. There's two radiators and a towel rail on board. There's the view through the world. The television is a 22-inch LG TV and DVD player. Plenty of storage here in the saloon with these shelves and the cupboard. She feels lovely, this boat. Really nicely fitted out. Lovely job. And she's been very, very well looked after by her incumbent owner. There's the view down the saloon. There's a gate leg dining table there. Head height on the boat is six foot five. The lighting's mostly LED. Nice light boat with all these windows. And into the galley. Very large galley, nine feet, just over nine feet long. Worktops of granite. Lots of storage in here. Plenty of places to put things. The cooker itself is a Stowe's new home 500 DIT. It's a four ring gas burner and there's a separate oven and grill. Stainless steel sink. That window's a slider opener. It's quite good to let some air in. Massive cupboard under there goes all the way back to the bulkhead there. Bank of four drawers, three drawers rather here. And it's an integral 230 volt fridge with an ice box. It's a Bosch. And next to that is the washing machine. That's a hot point full size. 230 volts on this boat, talking of washing machines, is, is no problem. There's a 3 kilowatt Victron inverter. And there's also a 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator built in. So oodles are 230 volts. Here's the bathroom, 5 feet 11 inches long. Lovely tiled shower area. It's good size, that. There's the heated towel rail. It's a ceramic basin. And the loo itself is a Sally Marin pump out. Massive mirror above the sink there. And the bedroom's towards the stern. The bed itself is... In current configuration, four feet wide. It does extend to five feet, but still with room to walk down the sides, actually. There's a bank of four drawers here. And a really good size uh, wardrobe stroke shelving cupboard here. That panel you see there, the secondary double glazing, which the current chaps put on board. There's some under the bed, some there, but he said it was actually really effective in the winter. Useful shelves there. And then at the foot of the bed, 
and the steps that lead out onto the rear deck. Here's the engine, it's a Beta Marine 43 horsepower. Nice and clean and tidy in there, it's very well maintained. The batteries on board. There are 410 amp hour AGM domestics, they were new in 2018. And one starter battery. That does your 12 volts on the boat. Very neatly controlled instrument panels. Neatly controlled, did I just say? Anyway, <laughs> neatly arranged, I think I meant. Some shelves on the starboard side there. There's the crew from the workshop having a cup of tea. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. It's a lovely autumn day here, actually. So I have another walk back through the boat. The water tank is stainless steel, 680 litres. The diesel stove heats the radiators on board. And hot water is heated by the diesel stove. The engine oiler is also an immersion heater on board. It's 200 watts of solar power. I haven't mentioned that. They were new in 2020. It's not got an MPP to control it. I forgot to show you these drawers, actually. There's two of those under this side of the boat. And there's a mobile monitoring app for the solar power as well. Absolutely lovely boat, this is. Love it. So there we go. That's Juniper. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the spec, go to our, and the price, of course, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.